everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be running through my favorite WWE action figures that I love to play around with. I like to take them, I like to pose them around, grab them off the shelf, do a quick little sequence, just kind of whatever, pose them around in the pick fed, just the best figures, my favorite figures to pose around and play with and stuff of that nature. And uh, let's get into it guys, hopefully you guys have a bunch of these. If you don't have these or you want to track these down and maybe you're using this video as uh, should I buy that figure, maybe that'll help you out today. But let's go ahead and dive right into it, guys. We got a pile right here, and I want to get through the pile and show you guys all of these epic figures. So let's go ahead and get started. So starting things off, guys, we have this Sting figure, and this Sting is the, I believe it's the Hall of Fame Sting with the red coat. I do believe that's what this one is. And the reason that Sting figures are so fun to play around with is because they uh, they have ball joints, so the legs are really nice, and uh, it's just a, such a solid Sting figure. I would say that probably any Sting with the face paint is a good Sting to play around with. It's got all of them have the ball joint legs, so they're really easy to flow around. He has such a cool attire and a unique look that uh, I would love to bring him to the pick fed. I mean, he's just so badass. I've always been a big fan of Sting growing up, and so I was really young, obviously, when I got to watch him, but I still enjoyed his work, and he's always been one of my favorite, and his figures are awesome. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have Samuel Zanes, and this figure is just epic, man. I really do love this figure so much. It poses around really easy, and you guys know if you watch the pick fed, you know that he has been on television before as, as Sami Zayn. He was at the Rumble. He's a surprise entrant. And he's just really fun, man. He's got a fun move set. He's just really fun. You can hit the Huluva kick on kids. He's got really nice joints. You can pose him around a lot of different ways. He's got a fun move set, like I said. And just overall, Sami Zayn's a beast. Next up, guys, you know we had to include it. My boy Finn Balor in here. The best demon figure to date. And I had to include it here because it has the accurate torso. It's got everything going on. I touched it up a little bit. It's got the black lower knees. And it just looks great, guys. It looks like Finn Balor poses around really well. His figures are nice to use. I wish they had ball joints, but they still, uh, they're still they still fun to pose around. Really great figure, and I had to include the Demon. You know, this guy. I would include every Finn Balor figure. Are pretty fun to play around with. Again, fun moveset, stuff of that nature. But I wanted to include this Demon figure specifically because of the ripped torso, and it's a Demon. I mean, come on, it's a Demon, man. Next up, guys, we have my boy Cedric Alexander. Another fun moveset, man. I mean, he's just a beast. I also switched the torso on this guy, so he's one of my favorite wrestlers in the world and he's just he has the best finisher in the game the lumbar check so you just lumbar check the hell out of your figures they fly across the arena really fun guy to pose around again I wish this guy was on ball joints but his legs are pretty movable you know they don't get stuck like CM Punk figures and stuff of that nature so that is one good thing to add but I had to put Cedric Alexander on the list another guy that I love Seth Rollins you guys know one of my favorite wrestlers so my boy Seth Rollins right here I would include all of his figures besides his shield figures guys I love Seth Rollins figures. They're just really fun to pose around. Again, they're all on ball joints. They have really good part usage. They have really good articulation. They look good. He has great attires. So these are some of my favorite figures are the Seth Rollins figures. They just feel good in the hand. They have tight joints. They don't get loosey-goosey and stuff of that nature. So Seth Rollins definitely had to go on the list. And I had to include my favorite attire ever that he's ever won, right? So I got to go with the all-white SummerSlam 2015. A pair of guys right here, guys. Both of these guys are on ball joints. I went with my custom elite young bucks just really fun guys to pose around um their their main focus is on vindication and for what reason i mean they have a good move set as well they fly all over the ring super kick party all over the place which is really good for these ball joint legs because they uh you know they, they they're able to you know get really good articulation in so that's what you love to see from uh from a figure that can super kick is him actually being able to do the super kick so matt and nick jackson had to go on here these are customs but i had to include them speaking of fun figures to pose around guys. Rey Mysterio. This Rey Mysterio right here has epic joints. The Elite Series 69 Rey Mysterio has epic joints. Like he feels so good in the hand. He has tight joints. He has the ball joint legs again and he can just pose all around. Any pick fetter will tell you. Any poser of figures will tell you that this figure right here or any Rey Mysterio that's like this. Not the pants ones. The pants ones suck. Go with this kind of Rey Mysterio. They're the best to play around with. They have really good joints. Double jointed knees. You get the whole idea. If these figures, if figures in this video had double jointed arms, it would be over with. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have HBK and actually, okay, so yes, he has I, I knew he had the ball joint legs. Another guy that has ball joint legs, guys. I wish every figure had the ball joint legs. A lot of figures in this video have the ball joint legs, which makes them more fun to pose around with, and actually, the more I look at it, 
I think a ton of these figures have the ball joint legs because they're just much more fun to use. Like you get guys with the ratchet joints, guys, like their leg will not go up as much. It won't go out as much. And guys with ball joint legs are really fun to play around with. You got HBK here, another, you know, sweet chin music guy, super kick guy, can get his leg up in the air. He can come off the top rope with the elbow drop and Shawn Michaels had to make the list. Another man, Kevin Owens, one of my favorite wrestlers. I love to play around with guys that, you know, I'm a big fan of. So Kevin Owens, Finn Balor, Seth Rollins, guys of that nature, Dolph Ziggler, all those guys are very fun to pose around. They have great move sets. They have great characters on TV. Uh, they have great attires, things of that nature. Kevin Owens is no difference, guys. You have the Elite 66 Kevin Owens. This is not the variant version, but it is a good version nonetheless. He is also on ball joints, and uh, it's just a really cool attire. I like the KO and the, bl uh, the blue and white with the black contrast. Really strong figure. They fix the arms on it, and I gotta have a KO to pose around and play with, so this is the first one I always pick up. Next up, guys, we have uh, the Hurricane. We have a custom Hurricane figure, and this is made off of an X-Pac figure, and that X-Pac figure, I guess, you could call, you know, the, the fun play figure to play around with. So if you have the Elite 33 X-Pac, I believe that's the series, this is what that figure is, except with a Hurricane basic head scan on it, and he has the exact, you know, uh, Xbox formula, except I switched the sleeves out with black sleeves, added Hurricane logos to his legs, and he's on bullet joints, so you know what that means, he can pose around and not get stiffy-legged and have his legs snap off, so that is a reason the Hurricane's on the list. Happy Rusev Day, guys. We have Rusev and his tag team partner, Aiden English, both of these, which are on ball joints. Now, you may say, well, Brad, you know, the Elite 60, or the Elite 65 Aiden English isn't on ball joints. That's because I have my own custom Aiden English with, uh, you know, a Frankenstein effort. I kind of put some parts together. We made it on action figure surgery, and it's the perfect Aiden English. It's on ball joints. He has black, you know, tights, solid almost just died for no reason. But he has black solid tights. He looks really good up next to Rusev and just as a tag team in general, they both have matching t-shirts. Just really fun figures to play around with, especially you know in a tag team division. These guys should have never broke up in real life and they're epic as action figures. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try to get all these guys back on camera here. We have Triple H, one of my favorites of all time. Again, another guy on ball joints. One of my favorite attires, the WrestleMania 32 attire. Terrible match, but you can make up for it with the figure. You get it here. You get the red Iron crosses. He's on ball joints again. He can do the splitsies. He can kick forward. He has a cool move set. You get a sledgehammer in his hand. He can attack people from behind. All that good jazz. So Triple H is definitely one of my favorite figures to play around with. Next up, guys, we have the only women's figure in this video. And this is probably one of my favorite figures to pick up and play with and pose around. It is the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey. And I think it speaks for itself, guys. You have double jointed arms, double jointed knees. The best women's figure to date on the market. This figure is is epic and they are at retail right now. Target, I think I think that's the only place you can get them right now, unless you go on Amazon or Ringside Collectibles. Target, if you're looking for it at retail, you don't want to order it, you can go to your Target right now and I bet they have one of these. Go buy it. Don't think about it. Buy it. Go to your store and buy this figure of Ronda freaking Rousey. But seriously, this figure is badass. I pick it up all the time, play around with it. It is awesome. It's very fun to pose around. You can beat the hell out of people. You can lock her in stuff. You don't have to worry about her not being able to tell. Look at that. She can punch herself in the temple. Name another figure that can punch itself in the temple. Had to include that figure, bar none. Another guy, Luke Harper. Great looking fix up, great looking figure. I'm so glad that the Wyatt Colt finally debuted on Vindication because I love posing this guy around. He's in the finals, as you guys know, with the Fashion Police, who are also in this video, in the Wyatt Cult, taking them on in that tag team tournament to determine the number one contender on the next episode of Vindication. And this guy, another guy on ball joints, just a big figure, a big guy. You head swap it, it looks even more like it. Uh, I, I don't know about you guys, but when I have a figure fixed up and it looks better than it originally did, it's more fun to play around with. Am I, am I right? It's just much more fun to, to look at and play around with when it looks more like the guy. So, Luke Harper has to be included and which leads me to our next guys which are the fashion police or the fashion popo or brazango or febreze or whatever you want to call them we have fandango and tyler breeze i did torso switch and arm switch this fandango so he is better he looks a lot more accurate uh both of these guys are on ball joints so that's you know no surprise there they have great accessories they're really fun you know they have some humor to them so you know you can get some humor going with these guys fashion police epic tag team and we'll see if they can win that number one contender tournament for the mdt tag Tag Team Championships on the next Vindication, but 
they are definitely included in my favorite figures to play around with. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have a member of Bullet Club, AEW All Elite Wrestling. We have Cody Rhodes, who is actually made out of a bunch of different figures. He is obviously a Cody Rhodes basic on the head and arms. He is a Cody Rhodes Elite torso and crotch. And then I added Carl Anderson legs, and I custom made these boots on WWE Action Figure Surgery. They're laceless. They, they look like Cody Rhodes boots, so that makes it more fun. And uh, his legs are kind of loosey-goosey now because, you know, they, they, they're they worn out, man. I mean, he wrestles all the time. Uh, he, I think he's wrestled the most matches. Him and The Miz have wrestled the most matches on MDT television, so his legs are a little bit loosey-goosey. However, uh, he's really fun to pose around, guys. Again, an, another figure that's on ball joints. I know you're going to get sick of hearing it, but it's just the truth. The guys on ball joints are much more fun to pose around, and they're fun to play with, so Cody Rhodes got, gets on the list. A figure that does not have ball joints, but it is fun to play around with, is Pete Dunne. I don't know what it is, but this figure is not very stiff. I feel like a lot of figures you get are really stiff. Pete Dunne is not one of those guys. He actually feels really good in the hand. He's fun to pose around with. And he doesn't have the really stiff legs that you get with some of those ratchet joints. So Pete Dunne's definitely on there. I love his moveset. He's a pretty hardcore type dude. You know, very brutal. Very strong style in the ring. So I love Pete Dunne. And I had to include him. Next up, guys, we have the whole Undisputed Era. I am counting the whole en entire Undisputed Era. I know that Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish, I don't think, are on ball joints. But Adam Cole is. And once you switch out those smaller legs, um, I just can't stand those smaller legs. He just looks like a little child, and I wanted him to be taller and bigger. Um, he's probably a little bit too tall, but uh, it doesn't bother me that much, and I'd much rather have him a little bit taller than a little bit shorter. So there is Adam Cole. Had to include him. One of my favorites in NXT, and so uh, he's definitely one of them. I can't even believe we still have this figure. It just looks just like Adam Cole. It's super fun to play around with. With him in the Undisputed Era running wild on your pick feds or your action figure matches, definitely go grab the Epic Moments Undisputed Era 3-pack. Alright guys, we're on the home stretch here. Let's get into it. We got Samoa Joe, the Elite 64. It looks just like Samoa Joe. You can lock in the Coquita clutch with him. He is on ball joints again. He's got the elbow pad painted on. He's got the interchangeable hands. He's got the cloth t-shirt. And they molded his leg in red this time instead of black so you don't get the paint chipping. Just a really fun figure to play around with. Guys, Joe is one of the goats and he's a beast. So you definitely want to play around with your Samoa Joe figures. One of my favorites to play around with. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have my boy Dolph Ziggler. Now, this is very important. Um, I like to play around more with the ones that are on ball joints than the uh, custom Bret Hart lower that I have over here to my right. You guys know it's got the Bret Hart lower, the Ziggler hoodie, the way he looks on MDT Live. So um, I like this version better as far as posing it around and playing around with it. He can pose better. He can stretch better. And you don't have to worry about his legs ripping off. So I had to include my boy Dolph Ziggler again. My favorite wrestlers are always more fun to use because, you know, they're, they're, they're my favorite wrestlers in action figure form. So, that, that I mean, that's just self-explanatory. All right, guys, we're going to knock these two out together because, I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory. Neither of them are on ball joints, but the Elite Series 69 Ricochet and the Elite 55 Neville, just super badass man. They're, they're so fun to play around with. Again, they have great movesets, man. Both of these guys' movesets, they can flip and dip all over the ring. They're super athletic. They're just freaking beasts inside the ropes. So I had to include both of these guys. Just really fun guys to flip around. You can do all kinds of moves and crazy stuff with them. And Neville and Ricochet had to be included. Alright guys, we're down to a small pile here. We're getting into some NXT talent or some former NXT talent. We have a current one in Tommaso Ciampa, which does have ball joints and he just looks just like Ciampa. So you had to include it here. Very uh, fun Ever since I got this, uh, you know, I got two versions of it. I have my Street Gear version and my regular version. Ever since I got this figure, I cannot put it down. It's just super fun. It looks just like Ciampa. I did get the butt logo, so that's added bonus to it. And Aleister Black is the same way. You can just black mask the hell out of everybody. And I'm super excited that he is finally revealed on Vindication so that I can, uh, I can use him more now. I get to use him more, and it's going to be good stuff on Vindication, but both of these guys are on the list. All right, guys, rapid fire. Dean Ambrose right here, John Moxley, another guy that's on ball joints, and an actually really underrated move set. I think that a lot of people don't give him credit. I know that he wasn't the most entertaining thing in WWE, but a lot of people love him, and I think it's just his character, man. I mean, you can get this guy, you can put him in one of your action figure trucks, you can do all kinds of crazy things with Dean Ambrose, so that would, that's what makes him fun. You can do some unsanctioned matches with Dean Ambrose, and he has to be included. We have AJ Styles. This is pretty much any AJ Styles. I just think because it's AJ Styles, you know, you got the Styles class, 
splash, you get the phenomenal forearm, Pele kicks, things of that nature. AJ Styles, you can also do some really awesome fix-ups, like these blue knee pads with the Elite 56 kick pads onto the Elite 47, the first AJ Styles figure. Really fun fix-ups to do with AJ, and he had to be included in the video. And now we're down to the final four, guys. Apollo Crews, I hadn't used this figure that much up until the MDT Royal Rumble when he was the number 15 entrant, and after that day, I cannot put this guy down. I pick him up, I pose him around, he can do the splits, he's on ball joints, you guessed it, and he has great articulation, especially you don't have the knee pads on there. I think it actually adds an element to it with the white boots and everything, so Apollo Crews is included in here. And now we're down to the big three, and uh, we have Goldberg, we have Roman Reigns, and we have John Cena. Now for John Cena, I would recommend the shorts look, the shorter shorts, obviously you wear shorts all the time. The longer shorts mold are really just not my favorite, man. They are, they will piss me off. It's really terrible articulation, really stiff figures, and the shorter shorts versions are much better. They stand better. They are, you know, they're articulated better, and they're just overall better. So any John Cena in these shorts, you're probably good to go. You have the big dog, Roman Reigns, which is probably the only shield figure I like to pose around, because any Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose shield figures, they're just super stiff. I don't know what it is, and they're all on ball joints. I just don't like them. I don't know what it is. If it's just because it's Roman, I'm not sure what the case is, but Roman Reigns is pretty fun to pose around as well. Current MDT champion, even though he's not looking like this, he's in the Usos gear. And then lastly, we have the man Goldberg here. And uh, simple the fact, he's just one of those guys that will come out and beat the hell out of you. And so he's super fun. You can just spit. Any guy that's just, you know, comes out and spears the hell out of everyone is super fun to use. You just come out, spear, 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 jackhammer, match is over. Goldberg, maybe one day we'll see him in MDT. I'm not sure. But he is one of those figures that I love to pose around with. So there is my list, guys. I don't think I left any out. I really did try to analyze this and break it down for you guys. Because if I was just throwing this, you know, just trying to throw things around, I could have made this video in five seconds and just kind of included five or six figures. But I really wanted to get into the figures that I love. Like, these are the figures that I love to play around with, pose around with, do things with, make videos with, pose around in the pick bed and things of that nature. So I did want to make this video for you guys. And hopefully, if you guys were wondering about getting a figure and you saw a figure in this video that, you know, you were like, I don't know if I want to get that figure, and then you see it here today, I will tell you to buy it. Any figure right here that you're on the fence about, just buy it. They're freaking epic. There's not a single figure in here that I don't like. I literally love every figure right here. And so if you guys want to know what figures I hate or what figures I hate to use or never use or just trash, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. I can make a video tomorrow of the figures that I absolutely hate. The opposite of this video. This is the video that I, of the figures I absolutely love. And tomorrow we could do the figures that I absolutely hate with a passion. You guys can probably hear me rage or rant a little bit, so that'll be pretty fun. But that does it for all the figures that I love to play with. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy and learn something from the video. Comment down below if you uh, agree with me, if you disagree with me. Do, is there a figure in this video that you hate? Is there a figure in this video that you love and you agree with me that it's super fun to pose around and play with? Please let me know down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.